Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana and my throat is absolutely drilled. I've been making too many videos, I've been streaming too much and I've also been seeing some friends. So excuse the voice at the moment. In this video, I'm very excited to talk all about stream alerts. What are they? Why are they important? How do you add them to your stream? I'm gonna run through some of the different providers of stream alerts that you can choose from. I'm also gonna talk about some alternatives as well because there are different things you can use for stream alerts. Some of them are a little bit more technical than others. You don't have to go for stream alerts as well. There's event lists and things like that that you can look at. So we'll just briefly go over those. So we're jamming loads of stuff in this video all about stream alerts. Hopefully you enjoy the video. If you do, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to the channel. And also you can feel free to check my channel out as well. Let's go. So first of all, what even are stream alerts? If you're new to streaming, you may not know what they are. Well, they're basically these. What they basically do is they pull in information about what's going on on a stream and they display a predetermined picture and they pull in information about the person that's following or giving bits or subscribing to your channel. But the thing is, these are highly tailorable things that you can add to your stream. And in this video, I'll be showing you very briefly how you can add them to OBS Studio and to Streamlabs OBS. So what exactly are they and why are they important? Well, what they actually do is they pull in a predetermined file that you can control. You can literally define what image or GIF or whatever is displayed and the text from whatever event is happening. And these things are like really high tailorable to your stream the fonts the CSS HTML all that kind of stuff and you can have quite a lot of fun with these things as well you can define whether you want them just for follows for bits redeems for sound alerts and all kinds of different things like that <laughs> oh, I heard it. The reason why stream alerts are important for streamers now is because they've basically become a prerequisite for any streamer. Now, the amount that you use stream alerts does vary depending on how popular as a streamer you are. The more popular you are, it's likely that you'll use stream alerts less and less because they can start to be quite spammy in high volume. But when you're a low to middle end streamer, stream alerts can be a really good way of giving kudos to whoever it is that's giving you bits, donating to you, subscribing to the channel, following you, all kinds of things like that. And it actually encourages some of that activity. So not only does it improve the interactivity of the channel, but it encourages behaviors within Twitch, YouTube games, and Facebook gaming to get people to support your channels. Fundamentally, not only are they like an expected thing that people will see on your stream, when someone follows, they want to see that alert, but they also encourage the success of the channel by making it more engaging and encouraging monetary support for your channel. Now at Stream Essentials, we have done quite an extensive article all about stream alerts. So I will drop the link in the description below if you want a lot more detail than I will provide in this video, but we are gonna cover some of the different providers now, and we're also gonna cover how to add those stream alerts to your stream on OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. But to be honest, this also applies to XSplit, to OBS.Live, because anything that supports a browser source will enable alerts to work on your stream. So let's talk about alerts providers. There are loads of different ways that you can actually add stream alerts to your stream in terms of the way that you set it up. Some of them are really, really simple and others are quite a lot more complicated. I'm going to be going into a few of the main ones today. First and foremost, Streamlabs.com. These guys, they've been in the game for a very long time. They're owned by Logitech. They were bought for 84 million pounds a few years ago. They've got this thing called alert box. So if you log into streamlabs.com and configure your alert box here, you can literally configure and test all of the information here. Now I'm not gonna go into all the details of how you configure this because that's not what this video is about, but I will briefly cover some of the configurations that you can make here just to give you a little bit of a flavor. Now, first and foremost, we need to note here that we can copy this widget URL here by clicking the copy and it will copy it to the clipboard. Then within our broadcasting software, and I'll show you later how to to do this, we can paste in this browser source and it will mean that on your OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS or XSplit or whatever it is that you use, it will pull through like a key that will authorize for the information to be pulled from Streamlabs, which of course is connected into your Twitch or your YouTube gaming or your Facebook gaming. So the things that you can do here in Streamlabs OBS, you've got test follows, subs, resubscriptions, donations, hosting, bits, raids, merch, cloud bot redemptions. So these are kind of cool. These are like sound alerts and things like that. And then prime gifts as well. So a real nice array from Streamlabs. We can choose a specific image and that can be a static image or an animated image. And we can choose the layout of the text. We can choose to filter out some of the words. We can even add some text to speech in here as well. This is a test. 
So if we look on the bits section here, we can see that we can open up a text-to-speech section which allows us to enable people to give messages as part of that stream alert so they can thank you for subscribing or maybe tell like some really terrible dad joke just to bring the tone down of the stream. Whatever it is, the thing is you can highly tailorize this to your stream. So that's where you would do that. You can also add in HTML, CSS, JavaScript and other custom fields within this section here. If you're a total nerd and you know how to do this, that's really, really cool. Or you can even pay someone to do it. The other cool thing about alerts is that you can also, and especially this with Streamlabs, apply themes to those alerts. So if you have themed overlays on your overlays, like for example, the way that your stream looks, you're starting soon and all that kind of stuff, you might have that theme that you can then apply to the alerts so it all looks really, really professional and really well made. Basically what those themes do is they paste in all of the code for the HTML, CSS here. They do it all automatically when you install it. So that was Streamlabs. The thing is, we need to talk about stream alerts for a little second. They can be quite buggy. And the reason why stream alerts can be quite buggy is because the APIs from the the platforms are not always as reliable. They are extremely high volume, high demand APIs, and therefore the platforms sometimes struggle to keep up with the calls and pulls that are being made from the API. So what this can sometimes mean is that alerts are missed or they don't work, their sound isn't configured correctly, and other things like that. And these are really, really common issues. And to be honest, because it's an issue with the platform, it's not really any one provider like Stream Elements, Streamlabs, or Leoran Board, or whatever, where the problem lies. The problem lies on the API. So you just need to bear that in mind. One of the strengths of Streamlabs is that they serve so many millions of people that it's obviously very well supported. They've got a great Discord. There's loads of videos and help videos out there. I would definitely recommend Streamlabs OBS. I've used it for a while and it does work pretty well, particularly if you're using it with themes that are available on their store. And as at today, the alert box is also a free function from Streamlabs as well. So next we're in Stream Elements. Again, this is a free function from Stream Elements. To use Stream Elements, you need to go to StreamElements.com you do need to authorize and connect your broadcasting account to it. For example, Twitch, YouTube Gaming. We need to be going into my overlay section here and we go to create a new overlay. We can give it a name and select the resolution to get started here. Now we can add widgets here on the left hand side. We can go into the alert section and add alert box. Here we're able to position exactly where you want the alerts to be and we can then select the different alerts that we want to have. For example, a subscriber alert, a member alert, sub super chat and of course purchase alerts as well. And these will all link in and pull the data through the broadcasting software. Or of course, if it's a tipping page, you'd have to use Stream Elements tipping page for them to know that there's been a donation, if that makes sense. And they do provide a free tipping page as well. Next, we just need to go into here and start configuring these in a very similar way to the way that we did earlier with Streamlabs. For example, setting an image or changing to a video, setting the layout, enabling custom CSS and that kind of things. But the really cool thing about Stream Elements and Streamlabs is that you can set up alert variations. And these are things where you're able to have like a variation of the standard alert if a specific thing has happened. For example, if someone donates 666 bits, you could have like some sort of devil, like spooky devil kind of alert that appears instead of the normal customized alert that you would have previously have had for every other bits donation amount. So these variations just allow you to get a lot more creative on the channel and you do that within these variation settings here. So I've not configured this particular variation to do anything particularly special here, but when the months subscribed is exactly zero, so this would be in the case that it's the first time someone subscribed, you could have a slightly different alert for when someone resubscribes within Stream Elements. But you can do similar things as well within Streamlabs. So Stream Elements and Streamlabs are by far the most popular and most well supported alerts providers in the market and they also provide so many other tools beyond just alerts but for the purposes of this video you also may want to check out tippy stream muxy is another quite popular stream alerts provider and also player.me all these are covered again in the article that i mentioned earlier which we will link below another option here for streamers is to look at something a little bit more complicated like the orin board now this is a lot more difficult to set up than Streamlabs or Stream Elements and to get rolling with. However, it's a lot more flexible and can be a little bit more reliable. What Leoran Board does is it allows you to define exactly what happens based on what events and you can add multiple triggers into them and basically create like a Stream Deck board where you can press buttons and things happen. Now you're probably thinking, well, I don't want to be pressing buttons every single time someone follows, someone gives bits or whatever. That's fine. What you can do is you can trigger so that buttons 
are automatically pressed if certain events happen. It's like a logic-based system where you set the parameters and the Orem board just does exactly what you tell it to do. Again, there are loads of videos out there about the Orem board and also loads of supplementary plugins as well, like a display Stream Deck animator is one example here. Now, the Orem board is not compatible with Streamlabs OBS, but it is compatible with OBS Studio and it's very popular for those streamers that want to do really high level, highly customizable alerts and also alerts that are not necessarily just tied to follows, bits and things like that. You may want some other types of overlay alerts, for example, just weird animations and memes that happen. And if you're interested in that kind of stuff, then Leoran board is definitely going to be the alert provider for you. Just bear in mind, they take a lot more time to set up. You can take things even further with Leoran board as well. And now link this website below. You're actually able to allow your viewers to control alerts that happen on your stream through channel points redeems. So along with it being a completely free stream deck, as they say here in the about section, you can actually allow your viewers to control what alerts pop up on screen and when, which is kind of cool if you're going for like the disruptive, meme -y, creative kind of channel alerts, just gives you lots of different options. Here's just a preview of someone's Leoran board here. Obviously the usability isn't particularly great, but don't worry too much about the usability because the function is really, really good. We can see there here they've made a really quite a large size stream deck and they've got things like 200 IQ plays, rest in peace coughing dances, and then other like raid alerts, sub alerts and things like that that are tied in as well. So there's all kinds of different alerts and triggers and channel point triggers that they've included here. I said I would show exactly how you can add this to OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. There are actually two different methods that you can use. So we're just going to go ahead and copy the widget URL within Streamlabs and the alert box here. This widget URL is basically a browser source that we're going to paste in. Now, if you're in Streamlabs, you can actually add as a source alert box here because it's an integrated widget. So we can literally configure alert box from within Streamlabs OBS and add it as a widget within Streamlabs OBS. So that's like a really powerful benefit of using Streamlabs Online and Streamlabs OBS, the software, because they integrate so well together. So if we click add source on this, put it as test, add source, it's now put a placeholder there. And these are all the settings that we just looked at online. Now you can still configure everything online here and all of these settings will be pulled through onto Streamlabs, but it just gives you the option to be able to change things on the fly within the software. The other method, and this applies to OBS Studio as well, is you can just do the plus icon and click browser source. OBS Studio has the same option to select browser source. We'd add that as a source, make sure it's set up as a new source. And it puts a placeholder image here. We just need to paste that URL here. And now when we run a test from Streamlabs, for example, a test subscription. This is a test. It's come through on both this recording on OBS Studio, but as you can see, it's also come through within Streamlabs as well. It's dead easy to set up. We're trying to get a lot into this video because there's a lot to cover, although I know we're not going too deep into the detail. I said I would cover some alternatives to standard alerts that you see. Some people like to have the in-your-face alerts and that works for some people's stream, but not everyone wants to have that. And also because so many people do use alerts, they've become so normal that they almost don't stand out as much as perhaps they used to. Other options that you can use are event lists from Streamlabs. So these just pop up like a list of events that happen as they happen. So rather than it being like one alert being displayed, it will be like in a list of events that animates and shows what's happened on stream. You can also set up chat alerts this means that alerts will appear in chat and show exactly what's been going on to the chat members. That's more of a supplementary thing because you can have that chat alert and also other things going on at the same time. So you don't have to have one or the other here. You can actually have multiple things going on. Me personally, I have alerts, event lists and chat alerts on my stream. So there's alerts within the chat. There are alerts on an event list that animates and then disappears after about 10 seconds. I also get the alert that appears on screen as we demonstrated earlier. Another option as well you can look at is stream labels. Now, stream labels are not quite the same thing because they don't always animate in and then disappear based on a trigger. But stream labels will place new information from your stream, for example, the newest follower, the newest donation or whatever, and place that information in a box which you can label newest follower. Now, a lot of people do have these labels, but they're not as common as you probably think. And the real art and creativity here is how you implement those stream labels and the blend of different options that you've got available to you. For example, alerts, event lists, and chat alerts as well. Okay, so we got through loads of stuff there. Hopefully, you're well informed now about stream alerts. There are other videos out there about stream alerts, but not many of the videos actually go into the depth that we've gone into in this video. So hopefully, you did find it useful. If you did, hit the like, Feel free to subscribe to the channel and yeah, 
Have a wonderful day. Take care.